Greetings everyone, Core here. It's time for another Midnight Review and also new microphone. <laughs> uh, I picked this guy up on Amazon and I'm hoping to make these videos a little bit better. Uh, I believe there's a little feedback from what I've tested from my PC because I have my PC on my desktop and that's kind of where it has to be right now so I'm trying to figure out ways to minimize it. I'm probably going to have to get some like sound dampening uh, foam or something. Uh, but as of right now, there's a little bit of vibrations and stuff. Um, they don't really make a shock mount for this microphone. So it's kind of hard for right now. So I'll see what I can do. But for now, welcome to my newest midnight review. And I went to go see Transformers the last night. And okay, so first of all, I like the Transformers movies. Uh, I don't really hate them. I, don't, I could see how some people don't like them just because of the story isn't all that strong uh, some of the dialogue is pretty you know 12 year old -ish -y. <laughs> and that's what Michael Bay usually gets flack for the most is his dialogue and his writing I mean I guess everything he gets flack for but as far as visuals as far as action scenes as far as you know all that stuff he does it really well and you can't fault him for that but as far as everything else, you know, the pacing, the plot, the stories, the characters, they do fall a little flat or, you know, amateurish or childish, especially. A lot of people um, typically will say that most about him. A lot of stuff is very childish. It's for kids or young, you know, teens and stuff like that. And I see it. I mean, I get it. 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 I mean, <laughs> I told my coworkers that I was going to go see this movie tonight and they're like, okay <laughs> it's like it's just one of those things it's just, it's just like yeah all right gotta believe you like it but whatever <laughs> so i went to go see it <clears throat> uh it is a special tuesday night wednesday morning review because i had to see it the latest showing because i had to work today and it threw me all off because normally thursdays i could dedicate straight to just movies but there is no thursday movie th review this week but next week i will actually have two reviews if you're looking forward to that and it's going to be uh oh just forgot uh baby driver and despicable me three that's going to be next week but um back to transformers this series will probably never end if it is going to end it is going to be on the sixth movie which is going to be the next movie because this is number five and overall yeah it's it's better than most of them. I mean, I think the first movie is probably the best one. Uh, the second one is definitely the worst one. And three and four kind of, <clears throat> you know, tie. I think three is a little bit probably second best of the series. This one. Okay. It would probably be second best if not for some of the dialogue. <laughs> is really, really childish. Some of it. It's. It's 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 hitting those low demographics, you know. It's it, it's just I don't know. I mean, yeah, there's no racist bots. I mean, some of the bots, yeah, are stereotypical and stuff, but there's no like racist bots like in number two. But as far as everything else, it's all right. I mean, the dialogue's all right. The characters, Mark Rawborn's character is really badass. Um, especially he's like this renegade rogue now that's you know hopping the transformers and trying to take out the bad guys and it's really cool to see that uh the dinobots don't have a bigger part in this one uh now they bring in the knights the transformer knights which are 12 just like the king arthur's you know knights of the round circle and they form this giant dragon three-headed dragon which looks kind of like uh uh king gordora king Ghidorah. Uh, from Godzilla uh, or Monster Zero, a lot of them call them too as well, <clears throat> and it's really close. <laughs> of course, even the scale is pretty close. Uh, not as big, but it's just, I don't know. I, I just I wanted to see them in like gold painting, and then it's you know Godzilla to pop out and kick, kick his ass. But um, yeah, so story-wise, it's Optimus Prime left to find the creators. He finds him, of course, if you've seen the trailers, and he kind of gets turned, you know, to their cause. And, 
you know, the good guys on Earth, they're trying to, you know, make things livable in a way. And so far it works out pretty well. I can't say uh, there really wasn't, I mean, the fourth one kind of is weird how they turned on the Autobots, you know, so quickly after they actually defended, you know, the city. And it's just one of those things that I guess would happen, you know, politically and stuff. But it's just really weird. Um, the little girl, she's 14, she says, I think, in the movie. Uh, she does a pretty good job. And she's actually not in it as much as you would think. But she's in it quite a bit, and she does a really good job. I think she'll probably get some good, you know, scenes and parts later after this. Uh, the new female lead, she's alright. She, there's really almost no introduction at all besides, like, a quick two sentences about her background stuff. Um, besides that, uh, Sir Anthony Hawkins is in it, and he is greatly misused because he is a victim of bad script writing but I guess it's work and I'm sure he got paid you know pretty well but overall it's a good movie it's 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 all right it's a good movie um uh, if you've seen any Transformers movies you pretty much kind of get what's gonna happen uh as far as then there is of course a sequel coming number six and there is a early end credit scene. So if you're interested in waiting for the end credit scene, there is none at the end of the classic, you know, black credit scenes where it's just like a black background and it has all the scrolling text and everything. Um, there's no end credit scene on that. So you don't have to wait. There's an end credit scene right after the stylized end credit, which shows, you know, a different location after the main ending battle. And... Once that is over and it goes to the black uh, and white text, then you're pretty much good to go. You don't have to worry about it. Don't don't stay. It's actually a very short end credit scene compared to most movies, which is impressive because they use a lot of CG in this movie and you would in a lot of locations and you would think that's going to take up a lot of time, um, but no, it's really short. I'm surprised they only had like one song play and that was it. And I don't even think the song played completely, but. Nonetheless, early end credit scene, then you're done. Uh, like I said, I can't really say too much about Transformers movies, because yeah, there are faults. There's a lot of nitpicking I can do. And the big question is, did I enjoy it? And I did. I enjoyed the movie. A lot of people in the audience enjoyed the movie. There was a lot of good humor. Uh, it got a couple chuckles. And the biggest problem that this movie probably that I would say has besides the dialogue which is passable it's not too bad um, for the situations that you know that gets us back that bad dialogue it works in that situation but the biggest fault in this movie is the pace and I would definitely say the pace is very brisk it is rushing through so much just to get you caught up and like to you know progress the, the you know the story along and it is not always working um especially when you have these really slow scenes that are great scenes but compared to everything else it's just like you know you're you slow down for that five mile you know speed bump and then you're just jamming 90 miles an hour you know right after that and it gets a little annoying but it works you know it's like i said it's that's probably his biggest fault, but I mean, at least it, it's a long movie, so it helps make it not seem too long. Uh, there are some new Transformers, which are pretty cool. Uh, all the Decepticon ones are pretty much red shirts, and the Autobot ones are pretty much all, you know, gonna live. <laughs> um, I have to say, there's not too much. I mean, yeah, like I said, if you don't like Michael Bay stuff, don't see the movie. You, you know, if you don't like them, cool. I don't care. You know, I like them. Uh, my favorite movie from him is probably Armageddon. <laughs> and that's in the Bad Boys uh, duology. Because uh, those are just fun movies. And those those work really well uh, for their writing and stuff like that. But Transformers series, he kind of goes a little too immature. 
on a lot of dialogue, and I feel like someone else should write it. Because I believe Michael Bay is writing it, or at least he has a big part in writing it, and I think someone a little more suited to write <laughs> should write uh, these dialogue scenes. But nonetheless, it's a good movie. If you want a nice action popcorn flick, you know, that you don't have to think too hard, hard about, yeah, go see it. It's, I'm sure it's going to do really well. I mean, my theater was pretty packed, and everyone seemed to like it. You know, for what it is, it's definitely the definition of a blockbuster popcorn movie. And I think that's the best compliment you could give it. <laughs> but like I said, guys, uh, next week I will have two reviews. And there's actually going to be another upload tonight of an unboxing. So keep keep an eye out for that. But next week, we'll have Baby Driver. And then we'll have Despicable Me 3. And later.